You think these local governments want to be stuck with binding arbitration? I'm serious. You have somebody, I don't know if you all know what binding arbitration is. When there's a labor dispute, they bring somebody in from Kokomo, Indiana. He comes into Ohio. He imposes a settlement on our cities. He goes back to Kokomo, and we pay the bill. Our, our local governments don't want that. It drives up the costs. So we're looking at ways to mitigate any of the reductions in dollars that people get. You know, how do we make it easier for them to be able to cope with it? On that last point, wasn't last binding question. arbitration adopted uh, as a way to uh, eliminate the possibility of public safety forces striking? Right. If they want to strike, they should be fired under this, you know, that you should not allow, you know, look, you can have the change in the law that says, uh, you know, we, and again, these decisions are not finally made, but, you know, you, there are ways to say that you're not going to strike and we're going to continue negotiations without a binding arbitrator. It's all kind of ways to do it. What I know is that our cities are facing bankruptcy. And if you talk to the mayors of cities, Republicans and Democrats alike, Democrats will tell you off the record that we can't stand binding arbitration. I mean, I, this became very clear to me when I was down at one of Ohio's great newspapers, the Dayton Daily News. And I think that's where it was. And um, one of the big, big schmoes down there asked the question of binding arbitration. And I, I think I said at the time it was a real problem. I mean, one of the things you think about is let the people vote. Okay, there's another alternative. We'll come up with a series of changes, but binding arbitration is not acceptable. You are forcing increased taxes on taxpayers with them having no say by people who are come from a faraway place that have no accountability to the taxpayers. And just to make sure I'm clear, you do not think police and fire emergency services should have the right to strike? I don't. I really don't favor the right to strike of any public employee. Okay, that's my personal philosophy. How practical that is to implement, uh, you know. But my personal philosophy is I don't like public employees striking. Okay, they I mean they got good jobs, they got high pay, they got good benefits, a great retirement. What are they striking for? So thanks, everyone. Thank you.